Independent presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. suspended his campaign in favor of Donald Trump. He joined a rally for the former U.S. president. Kennedy stated that, according to his internal polling, his candidacy would harm Trump and benefit Democratic candidate Kamala Harris. However, recent public polls have not shown a clear impact of Kennedy's candidacy on the support for either of the major party candidates, as reported by the Associated Press. At his event in Phoenix, Kennedy cited free speech, the war in Ukraine, and a war on our children as among the reasons he would try to remove his name from the ballots in battleground states. These are the principal causes that persuaded me to leave the Democratic Party and run as an independent, and now to throw my support to President Trump," he said. Kennedy made it clear that he is not officially withdrawing from the race, and his supporters can continue to back him in most states where they are unlikely to affect the outcome. He has reportedly taken steps to remove his candidacy from at least two states by the end of this week, namely Arizona and Pennsylvania. However, election officials in Michigan, Nevada, and Wisconsin have stated that Kennedy will be too late to remove his name from the ballot if he chooses to do so. Kennedy also mentioned that his decision followed recent discussions with Trump. He referred to their alliance as a unity party. Additionally, Kennedy suggested that Trump might offer him a position if he returns to the White House. Kennedy's campaign partner, Nicole Shanahan, proposed this week that Kennedy could join Trump's administration as Secretary of the Department of Health and Human Services. They're always the bad guys, because it's always the first step down that slippery slope to totalitarianism. Don't you want a safe environment for your children? Oh, you want to? Oh, you want to know that the food that you're feeding them is not filled with chemicals that are going to give them cancer and chronic disease. And don't you want a president that's going to make America healthy again? The DNC waged continual legal warfare against both President Trump and myself. Then, when a predictably bungled debate performance precipitated the palace coup against President Biden. The same shadowy DNC operatives appointed his successor, Vice President Harris, has not appeared in a single interview or an unscripted encounter with voters for 35 days. This is profoundly undemocratic. How are people to choose when they don't know whom they are choosing? And how can this look to the rest of the world?